Hi everyone, Samuel here. Welcome back to this quick and short video. I just want to show you something very cool and I just found out about it and I didn't even spend any time setting this shot up. I'm using a piano as my uh, standing desk. So Adobe just updated their creative uh, suite, I think a few days ago. And there's this one new feature in Adobe Camera Raw called uh, Super Resolution or Enhance. And it's very, very cool. And I just tried it out with some of my street photos. And basically it is using AI technology to enhance the details and the sharpness of your photograph. And it also doubles the resolution. So if you have like a 24 megapixel file, you end up having like a 50 or 60 megapixel file. I don't know exactly how much megapixels you get, but it basically makes your files bigger and nicer. At the moment, this feature is only available inside Adobe Camera Raw, not in Lightroom. Um, and also you can't use it on JPEGs, but there's a little workaround. When you use Adobe Bridge, for example, you just have to browse for your JPEG file and then you right click on that file and then you find uh, edit in Camera Raw and then you can do the same process. So let's jump into Photoshop and look at some files. So first of all, you have to open the raw file inside Camera Raw as usual. And then you just do a right click on your file and then you will find enhance. And then here you have two options. The first one is just getting rid of some artifacts and enhancing the details. And the last option is super resolution, which means it will also upscale your photograph. Let's start with one of my Ricoh GR3 files. Uh, this was shot in Osaka and, and on the right side you see a 100% crop of that enhanced image. And on the left side is the regular RAW file, also at 100% crop. And this is to show you how bigger the files get. So on the right side is the enhanced version and it has more resolution, so it's bigger. Now on the left side I just upscaled the RAW file to give it the same resolution as the super resolution uh, version. I think this is where most of you will see the differences already. But let's have a look at the right side. It does look very clean. And if we look at the left side, it is also very clean, but you can see the individual pixels a little bit better and it feels a little softer. And now we are at 400%, so we are really doing some hardcore pixel peeping here. But I think this feature is especially useful for people who want to print large. So in that case, it's important to see the details even at 400% because they will show up in a big print. So here it is very obvious that the right side is still very clean and holds up the details very well. And on the left side, we can start to see some artifacts and it's not as sharp as on the right side. Next, we have another GR3 file. This is one of my favorite photos from 2019. And again, you can see the difference in size and resolution. Now, when we upscale that RAW file on the left and zoom in a little bit again, we can see the differences very clearly now. The right side is definitely smoother, but sharper. And on the left side, we see some artifacts again. Also here with this lady, uh, I don't know if I should blur out the nipples. <laughs> I, should, I probably should. Now in this case, the focus wasn't on her in the first place. So it's not like super sharp, but you can still see on the right side, it's much cleaner. And the left side, you see the artifacts and it's just softer overall. Now let's look at some Fuji files because this is where it gets very dramatic. In my last video, I actually talked about the X-Trend sensor and that I'm not a huge fan of it because it has all these artifacts and warms and it's just not as crisp and uh, nice looking as the Leica or Ricoh files in my experience. And I've tried Capture One for Fuji and it did help a little bit, but it was still a little weird. But now using the Enhance feature in Photoshop, uh, the Fuji files actually become very, I, I, I don't want to say usable because they are of course usable, but they become just cleaner and nicer to look at. So I'm really happy how nice the Fuji files look now. I took a little picture of me here in the garden and I think this showcases uh, how well this feature works. And I think unless you're watching this on a smartphone, you can probably tell uh, the difference already. There's so much more fine details on the right side and especially down here where the grass is. Or look at this tree here. Just look at the texture of the tree on the left side and then look at it on the right side. It just looks like we shot this on a higher resolution camera. It's, it's pretty crazy. And now we are at 400% and yeah, I, I would definitely choose the right side over the left side. Let's do more Fuji because I know you guys love Fuji. <laughs>
damn check out this area with the fingers here this is see how the warms are very prominent but when i switch to the super resolution uh, file it is so smooth like they're completely gone let's look at a leica file this is the m262 24 megapixel we're looking at the uh, regular raw file but this is upscaled so it matches the resolution of the super resolution version uh, let's zoom in to 100 percent and if we switch back and forth between the enhanced and non-enhanced version, I think you can see the difference a little bit, but I think we have to zoom in like 200% maybe. And then it gets much more obvious and look at this. This is amazing. All these details and look at this Asahi uh, sign. It's so much cleaner. Of course, this isn't replacing any, you know, medium format sensor or high resolution sensor, but it is a nice option to just make your files a little crisper especially when you want to print. The thing is, when you enhance your photograph, it creates a new DNG file and it is quite big. I think around like 350 megabytes. So I would only use this when I want to print my files. Now I also tested it uh, with film scans because you can actually enhance JPEG files as well. And I already told you, you can use Adobe Bridge to uh, find your JPEG and then right click it and then open it in camera raw that way. But what I found is that it's not worth it because you barely see any difference. It might look a little bit cleaner, but there's no sharpness boost. You won't see any enhanced details. It just makes it look a little cleaner maybe, but it's not worth it in my opinion. Okay, that's basically it. I just wanted to show you um, what it can do and hopefully this was useful to you and you can check it out now. Yeah, it's, it's amazing what you can do nowadays. And I know there are other softwares that you know can do the same and i saw some examples and they were mind-blowing but i feel like the other solutions i've seen they do a little bit too much it doesn't look that realistic anymore so yeah check it out with your own files have a little fun and this is not sponsored or anything i pay for my subscription i just wanted to share this because i think it's cool so yeah thank you for watching and i see you in the next video anytime soon